Well, that was an astonishing race, and we're only in the second round. The time now confirmed at 9.9, uh, 9.87, fastest time in the world this year, been shown at 9.90 in second place. Mackey in fifth, must wait and see, but it was a good run by him. The sprint final always promised to be big news, but they started early. When you get as quick as that in round two, well, they really are track burning. Well, we'll give you the line out for Pete two in just a little while, but the man who just went out of picture there, Brinny Surin, must have seen what those two guys did. There he is, one of the most experienced sprinters around, gold medalist from Atlanta in the 4x100 meter relay. And a lot of expectation, this man, Angelos Pavlakakis of Greece. He broke the Greek record in the heats this morning and actually beat Donovan Bailey. Although it has to be said, Donovan Bailey took things very easy after a poor start and cruised to qualify. Brittany Surin won his heat well this morning. That's the Cuban, Luis Perez. Also an Olympic finalist in the 4x100 meter relay. The Central American champion. The man to his uh, right-hand side, Eric Weimisch of Belgium. Weimisch was second in his heat. And the crowd, although not very big in this Olympic stadium, were really buzzing at the end of that last heat of the 100 meters. And Bernie Surin has been running at this sort of level for nearly a decade now. The full lineup for this race includes Carly of France in lane one, then Viamish, we've seen him, Luis Perez of Cuba, Pavlakakis of Greece, and Percy Spencer was supposed to be in lane five. The Jamaican, he doesn't go, so a uh, gap between Pavlakakis and then Brissurin. Antonis of Cyprus in seven, and Balsazak of Poland out in lane eight. Spencer, who didn't, does not start, was actually the fastest man on paper in this race. That's Pavlakakis. Oh, they've been called back. And Pavlakakis, right in the center, in the blue of the Greek uh, national team, he, he got away to a good start. So it'll be interesting to see where the marshal goes to and puts a marker on locks. Let's have a look. I think it was lane one, Stefan Carly of France. Although the camera, yes, that's him. Stefan Carly, lane one, one more for start. He takes no further part in the competition. Well, in terms of time, they want to get through to the semi final and then progress through to the final. They really do now know what they've got to beat. Atto, Bolden, Maurice Green in such superb form in that previous heat. No doubt about it, this is definitely a sprinter's track. The same surface was laid in this Olympic Stadium as was on the track last year in Atlanta. We know what superb times in the sprints were run there. So Carly with one false start, Viamish, Perez, Pavlakakis, Bruni Surin, Katsantonis of Cyprus and Balsazak of Poland. Public artists there with a very wide arm spread. Gets away well once again, so does Perez of Kia. Bruni Surin going well. An enormous cheer for the Greek, but here comes Bruni Surin. Surin wins it by a couple of meters from Pavlakakis and Perez. They will be the first three, and it's again a very fast time, 10.06. The fastest time that Bernie Surin has run this year, and only 600 outside, well, I beg his pardon, 900 outside of his lifetime best performance. So the Canadian coming into form at just the right time. So not the histrionics uh, from Pavlikakis that we saw this morning. That's the Frenchman, Stefan Carly. There's Pavlikakis. He broke the national record after beating Donovan Bailey. 
but uh, he was soundly beaten there by Bruni Sir in the Canadian three from the right hand side Perez is just being headed at the moment by Pavla Karkas then the gap as Bruni Surin begins to pull away looking very very comfortable indeed there's about a two meter gap there isn't there Surin qualifies very easily